dances with crossed feet, legs and feet, such as the Bongo Kwasi of St. Lucia, are another hallmark of Congo influence, as are the Cossack-like muscular dances like the Trinidad Bongo and the St. Lucia Kutumba. Then there are the erotic dance movements like the old Chica of the Chicha of the Caribbean with its characteristic tremor of female hips and which derives from the Kikombo Tita, the quiver. The side to side undulation of the female hips known as whining in the Eastern Caribbean, that is whining is related to the Congo emphasis on what one of my Trinidad informants called waste work <laughs> in their erotic dance choreography. The yuca and the makuta of Cuba feature the shimmer of female shoulders and breasts, while the touching of the midriffs or hips of male and female dancers marks the old Trinidad and Eastern Caribbean ballet and the Jamaican tambu. The sudden feints of falling by male dancers also figure in the tambu and the Puerto Rican bomba. I play for you now a bomba sequence from Puerto Rico. Uh, you notice that the dancer, in this case, she observes dance protocol by saluting the drummers before she begins her dance. And at the end, she also bows to the drums and the drums. Um, well, you see a lot of movement. What is her, her, uh, towards the end, she raises her legs like that in front of the drums. And that cross movement is, again, typical of certain of the Congo dancing in the, in, in the Congo and in, in the Caribbean. Also, the raising of the leg like that is really part of the male dance in this, but she, she does it. Let's see if we can get <laughs> In Haiti, stick fight is called Musuli, recalling the Congo sub-ethnic group the Nsuli. In Brazil, it is called Makulele. In Curaçao, Sango, Sanga, derived from southern Congo, Sanga meaning to perform the sword dance which the chief executes alone before the execution of an offender. Stick fight is practiced in Barbados, Martinique, Dominica, and Guyana. In Trinidad, it is known as Kalenda and some of its songs contain Kikongo words. In fact, the traditional costume worn by the stick fighter copied the iconography of the Congo in Kisi. This design is repeated with the costume worn by the Nek Jade of Trinidad Old Mass. 
On the chest is a heart-shaped mirror called a fall, a word which seems derived from Kikongo Mfulu, which are the ingredients put for magical efficacy in the waba or hole in the stomach area of an Nkisi, Nkisi being an emblem of certain spiritual forces in Congo religion. The knee-length fitting pants worn by the stick fighter is called kandara, no doubt derived from Kikongo Kandalala, meaning a death shot. Stick fight songs sing of the imminent death of the fighter. And here, this is in Kisi with the, 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 uh, the shining um, center. And let's see, this is the stick fighting. <laughs>
Now, we have not touched on religious culture or said much on food preparations, but I trust that this small exposition on Congo musical history, on martial sport, and on speech culture, and Tony wasn't able to go into all of that, will have identified some of the areas of Congo impact on Caribbean culture in the past and even at the present time. Thank you very much.